Hey, good evening, guys and gals in the crypto world. I'm Cade with Crypto With Us, and thank you for tuning in uh, for this edition of what we may end up calling What's Cool in the World in Crypto Today. And if your house is anything like mine, it's been all things Olympics for the last 24 to 48 hours, as all eyes around the world have been on Pyeongchang. Um, as a newfound lover of curling, I've been very much glued to the TV, and my wife, a very big fan of figure skating, uh, we've both been dialed in with the one thing that we can agree, agree upon is Go Team USA. Uh, but as a co-founder of a cryptocurrency educational company, an article that came out by Forbes yesterday particularly piqued my interest when it combined the two, Olympics and cryptocurrency, the article being titled, Here's the only place at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics where you can pay with crypto. So I was piqued, so, so I dove in and, and read about this, and uh, I'll, I'll just give you the opening few sentences by the contributor Elaine Ramirez, uh, without any editorial comments of my own or any omissions from what she said, and quote, in the host city of the 2018 Winter Olympics, a few steps from the Pyeongchang Olympic Plaza, an unassuming ski rental shop is setting a record of its own as the first and so far only venue in this Olympic host city that accepts cryptocurrency as payment. The staff of Yong Pyong Sky Zone does not even speak English or other foreign languages, but they hope the global language of cryptocurrency and a little help from Google Translate will help them welcome guests from all walks during this international event. The modest ski rental shop, which sells top-line ski apparel and Olympic souvenirs, accepts Ethereum one of the most popular cryptocurrencies in trade-frenzied South Korea. Store manager Jay Wan Choi says she hopes the digital token as a universal currency will be easier for foreign tourists to use than exchanging cash in rural Pyeongchang, end quote. And that was interesting to me, you know, after looking it up and seeing that it's about a hundred mile drive from Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea, up into the mountains of rural Pyeongchang, to which I think if I'm a tourist coming to see the Olympics this year, there may not be access to your traditional centralized banks for currency exchange from the U.S. dollar to the Korean won or from the Japanese yen to the Korean won or any other uh, exchanges of fiat currency. But this is a perfect example of where cryptocurrency is solving real world problems. And it still continues to baffle me when I hear friends or critics or cynics on the web say that cryptocurrency is just a great place to lose your money. Uh, how you can still think to this day that this is not the way of the future and that this is not the future of currency is, is beyond me. Uh, even the title here, I think, has a little skepticism to it. Here's the only place at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics where you can pay with crypto. I see it as an optimistic uh, point of view and to say here we are in February of 2018 and the Olympics is already accepting um, cryptocurrency as a form of payment in this, in this souvenir shop. Uh, the platform that they're using is called uh, Coinduck. Uh, the article goes on to talk about that, and it talks about the uh, the mother company of, of CoinDuck, which is called Chain Partners, and this will be uh, their first clients in Pyeongchang, but they have about 50 places in Seoul, everything from hotels to restaurants to uh, clothing shops uh, that, that use their service, and then about 150 um retailers nationwide that use CoinDuck, uh, and they're, they're saying that by the end of uh, the Olympics, when it concludes in two weeks, that there will be 
uh, anywhere from five to ten more brick and mortar retailers that will be using CoinDuck as a uh, as a currency exchange platform uh, when the Olympics conclude in about in about 14 days. So I just found this completely fascinating. Uh, we love the Olympics around my house, uh, and we love cryptocurrency. Clearly, uh, as the co-founder of Crypto with us, uh, we're solely bought in on this. Uh, this also comes as a big splash because. Um, South Korea is one of the top traders in the world when it comes to cryptocurrency and there's there's been a lot of government talk as there has been in here in the United States about taxes, about regulation, uh, even about the banning of some ICOs in the cryptocurrency world um, here in the United States uh, and there in South Korea. So it'll be interesting to see where this continues to go but the way I look at it, it will just be something that the world and government cannot hold down um, as people continue to look for a way, a trustworthy way, and a reliable way, and a secure way, most of all, to exchange their currency for tangible assets in the world. And uh, the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang is just another example. So if you'd like, go check this article out. It's on Forbes.com. Again, the title of it is, Here's the Only Place at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics Where You Can Pay with Crypto. Uh, you can also check out more of our material uh, here on our YouTube channel. Uh, our company is Crypto With Us. You can check us out at CryptoWithUs.com. Uh, that is also our handle, at Crypto With Us, on both Twitter and Instagram. So we hope to be putting out more videos like this. Uh, and maybe we'll title them in the future of uh, what's cool in crypto today or something like that. But uh, this is Cade for Crypto With Us signing off, and uh, we hope to see you next time. Thanks.